all right y'all back with another youtube video um last video i was doing my uh slave cylinder and i um did my clutch fluid i replaced my clutch fluid and everything but after i did that my clutch master cylinder or yeah my clutch master cylinder or my cmc decided to take a dump on me so i did everything right but um my cmc just decided to take a dump on me and um i don't know i really don't know how it took a dump on me or whatever but um i did a pull like a second to third gear pull i didn't bang the gears but then when i shifted a um i shifted to third gear and as soon as i shifted to third gear it sounded like i missed the shift and then my clutch just said bye bye like like that shit just watch here i'll show you guys right now like that shit is crazy my clutch is like this now like it doesn't even have any pressure in there anymore i'm sorry for the dirty carpet but let me let me let me show you guys a little um reenact of exactly what happened uh this is a reenactment of like literally what happened just driving you know getting ready to getting ready to bang the gears a little bit he's some v-tech and shit and then my car just my clutch pedal just said bye bro so that's what happened i don't know what to tell you but judging from whatever i'm explaining to you guys in this video i'm going to be replacing my uh cmc and um i guess i'm gonna show you guys how to do it maybe you guys will learn something from me because um i've never done it before so this is gonna be my first time doing it but uh i guess we'll see i'm just gonna wing it to be honest i watched some youtube videos i searched everything up um so it's sh it shouldn't be too hard but um yeah this is what i am going to be using i got this cmc from armani dc5 money um his app will be right here on the screen um shout out to him for letting me get this off of him because i really needed it and uh i've been missing a little meets with the boys um because i can't drive my car so yeah shout out to him for letting me buy this but um it should be an easy install uh, the location of the clutch master is right about there uh, i don't know if it's focusing the location is right there you see where that um you guys see where that triangle is that is the cmc and um from the looks of it when i was looking at it when it first happened um you can see that there are two missing bolts that is because it like it just busted on me pause it just broke on me when uh i did when i hit vtech and did a little pull so yeah i guess those go out like i guess those go out like once in a while i guess the cmc's in the rsx tend to go out um a little while and i heard that that triangle thing that i just showed you guys the cmc it like delays the clutch um fluid or whatever so uh i'm glad that i have the uh i'm glad that i have this em2 cmc because i heard that this one is better for the rsx's and it fits perfect so yep but anyways let's get to working because it is late and i just got off work so let's get working so step one um you're gonna go under here and you're gonna look right here where the clutch pedal is and you're gonna see this pin right here. That pin right there, uh, you're gonna take out that pin. And once you take in out that pin, there's gonna be that bolt right there. And then to the left side, there's also gonna be another bolt right above there, right there. So that bolt, that one, and then that little cotter pin right there. You're gonna take those three out and um, that's pretty much it. Once you've successfully uh, got these four components out, you can put them to the side. Don't lose them because you're gonna have to use them again. So um, yeah, these bolts are 12 millimeter bolts. This is what goes in the middle of the CMC. Not in the middle, but like um, this bolt goes uh, in the little hook or whatever, the hook looking thing in the CMC. So yeah, just put these to the side and don't lose them. All right, once you complete once you completed uh, loosening all the bolts and um, messing with the inside of the car for the CMC, you're gonna pull it out now. And uh, it 
shouldn't be too hard. I'm gonna get my hands dirty probably, but oh well. I successfully got it out. Um, this is the old one. Um, and what you're gonna wanna do from here is you can either unplug this and this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this so this can come loose because when you pull it back, it's kind of hard cause it's stuck onto here. So I'm gonna loosen this. And then after you loosen this, you're going to unloosen this right here. I believe this is a 14 and this is like a 10 millimeter so yeah just loosen these two and then take this um take this hose out and yeah All right, y'all, so with a little bit of struggling, I was able to get it out. This is how the old one looks. It's looking hella clapped and beat up. Uh, so this is what had happened. So when I shifted to third gear, it just blew or yeah, it just came apart when I shifted to third gear. And um, my car is 2006, so this car is pretty, or this CMC is pretty old. Like, what, what is that, like 18 years old or 17? But yeah, this is the old one. This one is going to be going into the trash. So yeah, fuck that one. And oh. onto this one, this beauty right here. Nothing wrong with this one, Which I hope. I was able to get some of the fluid in the water bottle. This is all I got in the water bottle. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's kind of, it's kind of black. Oh, uh, you can see it now. It's like hella black and dark and dirty, musty. The rest of it fell out right here. Let's, let's use this and see how black it is. Yeah, black like your mom's asshole. All right, so uh, I don't know how to install this, but it should be exactly the same as um, how you took it out. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. All right, guys, I'm on the floor right now. I did also forget to mention that um, you have to take this piece off, um, this rotating like bolt. You're gonna have to take this off, and there's gonna be, I don't know if the camera's focusing because it's not facing me, but you're gonna have to take this little pin, cotter pin, or whatever clip out. And once you take this clip out, I'm pretty sure that this will just come out. So you're gonna wanna do that on both of the CMCs. Just take the cotter pin out, uh, use a screwdriver, or not a screwdriver, a flathead, and just pry it open. Let's see if I can get it out. This is what you're gonna wanna get out. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. But once you take this pin out, this will come out, and then this is what you're gonna be putting on the EM2 CMC. And now it is ready to be put on to R6. Um, I don't know if you guys can see if it's clear or anything, but um, CMC. So there will be this hose will go right onto here, just like that, and get your pliers and then put this back on this back on just like that so it can stay in place make sure it's clipped on there because you don't want this thing to leak at all and then you're going to want to get this right here oh, i think my hand's blocking you're going to want to get this right here and you're going to screw this into here right here once you've gotten this tightened um put your hose back on of course all right once you've gotten everything together it should look like this just try to relocate it back into where you took it out from. Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but I'm gonna have to move the camera for sure. I don't know how I'm gonna put this back in, bro. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I'm gonna do my best, and then I'll try to explain it to you guys after I've gotten it. Uh, shit. It. I got it. A 
A few moments later. All right, guys. Uh, I was finally able to get it in, dude. I was going at it for a while. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. Like, if I were to give this like a a one out of a one through ten, I'd give that shit like a fucking four, dude. I don't know if it's difficult for other people, but like, oh shit. I don't know if it was difficult for other people, uh, but it was pretty difficult for me because I used the old line. Um, I know other people use use the um, threaded line. I didn't use that because um, my boy just gave it to me with um, just the CMC by itself. So uh, I used the old line. Um, this is the old line right here. This is the old line that I had to use and it's, it's metal. So it's like, it's not really flexible. So um, it was pretty hard to get it in. Here, let me put the flash on. Yeah, right, right about there. Um, it is in and now i just gotta bolt it up yeah dude this this was pretty difficult i had to modify some stuff so like this right here um this usually this is supposed to sit right here be right here this where'd it go this is supposed to bolt on to um frame of the car and uh I took that off in order to be able to move um, this metal metal line more. So yeah, um, but yeah, oh, it's right here. You can see it right here. It is in, and I hope that I have to never do this ever again because this is pretty difficult, dude. But yeah, but once it's in, just make sure that it's securely in, and then and then uh, just go to go to the inside of your car and tighten it all up. But yeah, yeah, it's a pretty difficult process, but um, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to help you guys out. Uh, if you guys don't know how to do it, maybe watch my video if it pops up on your uh, YouTube page. Um, so yeah, after you got the CMC in, just um, blowing up those two bolts, put that pin in and then put that other um, little thing in. Where's it? Let me show you guys put this in um inside and then put the cotter pin on the end of it you see that right there but yeah um i'll get back to you guys after i assembled everything all right guys i finished the uh cmc replacement the em2 cmc replacement uh i put everything in everything is bolted up together um i'll show you guys how my clutch is right now um, it actually feels pretty good dude. Watch, let's see yes i know my car is pretty messy right now but my clutch actually feels really good dude like i'm really happy so yeah um everything is back in everything is ready to go this car should be ready to drive and ready to bang some gears so yeah um i'll take you guys on the drive along all right uh taking my car for a little spin let's see if anything changed my brakes are fucking squeaky because it's been sitting out in the rain uh clutch feels great honestly
so happy my car is uh, back once again. Could finally drive it and hang out with the homies. Driving back home now. All right, guys. This brings it to the end of the video. I hope you guys um, learned something. Uh, if you didn't, feel free to put something down, something down in the comments. Um, any questions you guys have? Um, anything you guys need to know of what I did? Honestly, the install wasn't too bad. Um, it was just like it's so hard to like. There's no room in the RSX kinda in the engine bay. And where the CMC is located, it's like really hard to, um, it's really hard to like work your way into there. So um, yeah, uh, this tutorial video was something small, but um, I'm actually really glad that I did it because uh, my car was down for a little while and I wasn't able to hang out with some of the homies. You can't keep doing this but to um, yeah, She's um, moved on. that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Made it to the end. Thank you. Uh, like and subscribe. I'll see y'all in the next one. Yep.